Marriage. The most important decision anyone makes is whether or whom to marry. If you're thinking about taking this course, whether or not you marry, you've already thought about marriage, you're thinking about marriage now, or you will be thinking about marriage in the future. During many marriage ceremonies, the person conducting the ceremony, often a clergyman, though not always, will say something like this. If anyone knows any impediment why these two shall not be conjoined in holy marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Shakespeare, great poet, great playwright, responds to that saying with the following sonnet. I'll just give a couple of lines. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds. The foundation of marriage, Shakespeare is saying, is unchanging, unshakable love. But love isn't always foundation of marriage. Maybe we marry to make our families more powerful. Maybe we marry to make money. Maybe we marry to acquire property. Maybe we marry because our parents want us to marry. Maybe we don't marry because our state, our community, our relatives don't want us to marry. If you take this course, you'll learn a very great deal about good and bad marriages. Some of the marriages are shockingly bad. Some of them are exquisitely and rapturously good. We'll read works of history, of philosophy, of journalism, of jurisprudence, of literature. We'll get many perspectives on marriage from many different periods of history and culture. And we will know more at the end of this course, which, by the way, satisfies the discovery requirement for humanities, we will know more at the end of this course about that most important decision, whether to marry, whom to marry.